everyone it is about 7 a.m the postman woke me up really weird um i didn't think postman came at 7 a.m my alarm was set for half seven and so i got really confused when my doorbell was going i was like am i expecting anyone but no just some dude delivering an amazon delivery but it's all good i'm gonna make myself a smoothie and then I'm going to get back into bed, I think, and edit yesterday's video. I've never, I don't think I've ever had, like, breakfast in bed while working since living in this flat. But I just thought, you know what? I'm not at the gym. I've got a personal training session at nine. So, yeah, this is perfect time to get editing and have a smoothie. I'm going to put this protein powder in there with a frozen banana some kale because this is about to go off so I'm gonna make use of that a bit of almond milk and I'm gonna mix it with water and then just some random superfoods <laughs> but I'm late for the gym. This always happens when you've got loads of time and you get distracted. So I'm, I'm just running there. Not so I'm out of breath. So I need to get running now. Just got back from boxing. I couldn't film anything in there because I go to Virgin Active and um, I can't film if there's anyone else around. So it was quite busy, so I couldn't film anything. But um, yeah, I did boxing again and then lower body workout absolutely destroyed me i'm nearly dead oh i was feeling so funny this morning anyway like i just woke up feeling a bit like <laughs> but um no it's good it's all good i'm about to get dressed i'm going to film at some point today i also have a couple of meetings so i need to figure out whether to film before or after meetings but um yeah i'll figure it all out just out and about, I've got a lunch meeting with my friend Tom who works for Jaguar. So I'm just going to meet him now to one of my favourite places called Farm Girl. It has amazing food. It's really good for people that are vegan or vegetarian or just into healthy food in general. Um, but also people that aren't because the food is just that good. So try it out if you're ever in London. I'd recommend it. <laughs> I had my meeting and loved the food as always at Farm Girl. It was good to see Tom as well. Um, back now, obviously, and I'm about to film and I thought it'd be quite interesting to show you guys a behind the scenes of filming a YouTube video. This is like a main channel YouTube video that I do on my usual Sundays because I'm still uploading every Sunday. Um, oh my God, look at this sun behind me. Can you see? Oh no, it doesn't come out. Oh, that's the most incredible sunset. Let me see if I can show you. Okay, it looks 10 times better in real life, I promise. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I just thought I would show you a behind the scenes. Oh, and it turns out I am 100% going to the BFAs tonight. It's the British Fashion Awards. Um, I didn't know if I was gonna go. I thought I only had a ticket to go to the after party, which I wasn't too fussed about. Um, but it turns out I actually have a ticket for the whole thing, so I, I feel like I should go because I think it will be a really good event. What time is it now? It's quarter past four. So I need to get filming before I get ready for tonight. And the video that I am going to be filming right now for Sunday is a gift guide. So it's specifically for women. So something for you to like, ideas to buy for your mum or sister or friends, just, you know, any girls in your life. So that should be good. I've picked 10 items that I think are really, really lovely. So I think what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to, where should I put my camera? I'm just going to leave my camera like here. And you can just watch me while I set up. <laughs> I always move my table out of the way. Normally, I actually do my setup slightly differently to how I'm doing it today. I normally sit here and have my tripod there facing that way. So I've got that in the background. But I think I'm going to try and do something a bit different and have like that in the background instead because it looks pretty. Camera, I use the Canon 70D D8. 
DSLR and then also the Rode mic just goes on top. So this mic literally just slides on the top like that and then you just twist that to screw it on to make sure it's secure and then always have to remember to plug this in <laughs> otherwise it's totally useless sorry I'm trying to do this one handed yeah just like that and then in a minute I turn it on just to the middle but I'm going to keep it off for now I sit on the stool that I have at my dressing table in my bedroom. And then because it's quite dark outside, I normally always just rely on natural sunlight, especially in the summer, it's just perfect. But in the winter, you've only got a very small window to film and I've missed that window today. So I'm going to have to use artificial light. And this is actually the first time that I've had to use um, lighting for a video since being in this flat. I've had this for so long, um, but I've just never had to use it because I always make sure that I film when there's the best natural light. But like I said, I missed it today. So we're gonna see how this goes. So I bought this um, tripod separately just on Amazon. It's a super cheap tripod. You can kind of use it universally for so many different things. And then this is the, the main thing. This is an LED light and it just literally slots on the top. And then we've got the wires here. So, just turn this around. This should slot in somewhere, yeah, there. So that just goes straight in there. And this is an American cable, so I just need to go and get an adapter quickly. Luckily, I've always got adapters lying around. I've got UK to US, UK to Europe, obviously, and then um, US to UK as well. There we go, that just goes straight in. And up here we've got the on button. Woo, that was bright. And then we've got the dimmer there, so we can turn this right down. So if I just show you here, this is it going right up. That goes really bright, but I'm just gonna have a little bit of a light. Like, I reckon that will do. I think I'm gonna put you on a tripod. I've got a mini one. <laughs> How cute is that? I'm just going to fit this camera on there now. Woo. So I've just brought the light up a bit higher and then I'm going to slant it downward slightly. That should be good. To be honest, you never really know until you're sat there and you can see yourself in the screen and then you kind of adjust the lighting depending on how it looks there and then. And then we need to add a memory card into the camera, of course, to make sure it actually records. And this is a 64 gig SanDisk, but um, I normally use 124 gig, but for some reason, I did have a couple, but for some reason I've either lost them or they've broken or they're full. <laughs> so I need to clear that other one. And this literally just slots inside there. Done. I can turn the mic on now. So I just make sure both of those are in the middle. Then I'm gonna change the ISO. Okay, so you can probably tell it takes a while for me to like sit down, see how it's all looking. I always change the camera around, move the tripod, lift it higher dim the light a bit more, check the background, I just turned on some fairy lights, like uh, there's a lot to it to like make sure it's all looking good. Now that I've got the whole setup done, I'm now going to go through all of the gifts, the items that I'm gonna be talking about in the order that I'm going to talk about them. see here this is the setup that I've gone for and because it's only me here I need to um, focus myself so normally if you had someone else here they would literally change the focus on the lens here just switch it from autofocus to manual so that you don't get the clicking sound throughout it of it um, like autofocusing the whole time but because I'm on my own here and I always am I just turn my Wi-Fi to enable so I go on to my Wi-Fi join Nim's camera, go to photography, click on EOS remote, wait for this to connect, normally takes a few seconds. There we go, and there I am. Hey! <laughs> 
So what I do is I set myself up like this and normally I would be down here and like face the camera normally as I would like as if I'm about to start. And then when I'm ready I just click that button, the camera focuses and then I quickly switch to manual focus. That wouldn't have worked right now because I had a whole like camera and phone and everything in front of my face but you get the gist. So I'm gonna get filming, I'm gonna set you up over here and then you can just be nosy and watch me film behind the scenes. I'm doing a gift guide for girls so if you are struggling with what to get your mum, your grandma, your friend, your sister, your girlfriend, whoever it is, hopefully this will really help you because for the past couple of weeks I have found some really lovely gifts. I haven't actually finished my own Christmas shopping yet but hopefully this will help you. Good luck with all of the Christmas shopping especially if you're in London because I know how stressful it is especially around Oxford Circus. Oh my goodness it's like hell. Um, but yeah I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas. Bye! All done so now you know what it takes to film a video. Now all I do is just pack everything up. I normally now will just take the memory card, import the footage straight into my laptop just in case the memory card breaks or I lose it or something. That means that I will lose all of the footage, which is an absolute nightmare. It has happened before. Um, I lost a couple of memory cards on a plane. So now I just always import it immediately. Um, and then yeah, just pack everything up and then that's that. I'll probably edit that tomorrow and that video will be up on Sunday. Hair and makeup is all done for tonight. These shadows are horrendous though. The only way I can look relatively okay is if I like face up like this. This is just awful. <laughs> um, I thought I'd show you my dress quickly before I put it on. I'm absolutely in love with it. <gasps> so beautiful. And I'm wearing these Christian Louboutin heels to go with it. I'm finally ready. Here's the dress and the shoes. Time to hit the BFAs. I've just arrived in the box and it's amazing. How insane is this place? It's incredible. I'm so happy to be here tonight. I get to see wonderful friends that I've had for a long time and uh, reunite with people that have been integral to the artistic future of so many people. I just want to say that I know that I'm in the generation of social media and I'm so blessed for that. But I want you guys to know in fashion how much you are my family. I'm home now and I had the most incredible evening. It was so surreal to be in the same building with so many absolute fashion icons and heroes. Ralph Lauren was there, Donatello Versace, uh, Tom Ford, oh, just so many people, Naomi Campbell, Carly Kloss, Gigi Hadid, like oh it was just incredible, such an amazing night. I was, I felt really honoured to be there and I absolutely adored this dress. It's so beautiful. <laughs> this is going back tomorrow though, unfortunately. I, I go to basically what happens when I go to these events, I go to various fashion PRs, try on clothes and their gifting suites um, and uh, borrow dresses and send them back the next day. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you found the behind the scenes of filming YouTube videos interesting. Let me know what you think and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.